Well, today, Mobile police broke up a homeless camp under a bridge on Government Boulevard near I-65. That's where a man was found dead in the water last week. The city says that prompted police to look into trespassing concerns there. NBC 15's Andrea Ramey joins us now. Andrea, it's also where a man we featured is going undercover and documenting his experiences living with homeless people. That's right, Kim and Greg, and he's actually doing this to raise money for homeless people. And this is just one of the places that he has stayed under this bridge where you can see all of this trash has accumulated over time. It's a terrible mess. Like, they're their own worst enemy. It's um, day so six for Eric Overstreet there. living in the streets with other homeless people in a social experiment he's documenting on social media. I want to put a face on the homeless people because all the people see is them harassing citizens for money and these messes they make. So I just want to put a face on some of them, let you know, like, they're human beings with, with big issues, a lot of them. Overstreet says he's also doing it to raise money for the Driftwood Housing Project, which plans to build a tiny home community in the area for homeless people. If I could make it 90 days, would they donate to this organization? I've raised about 11000 so far. His fundraising efforts ran into law enforcement action. The city says LDOT requested it investigate trespassing concerns after a man was found dead in the water near the bridge last week. No foul play is suspected. The city says 12 tickets were issued today for trespassing and littering. Two people were arrested on active warrants. They're going to go in the woods and hide, and they'll probably come back, to be honest with you. They'll be back. Now, Overstreet has been taking lots of videos showing his experience uh, living out here. If you would like to watch some of those videos, we have put a link to them on our website, mynbc15.com. Reporting live in Mobile, tight, Andrea Ramey, NBC 15 News.